Life often feels like a race against time, doesn't it? With each passing day, we're reminded of how fleeting time is and how precious our moments are. We strive to build careers, nurture relationships and pursue happiness. But all too often, we forget to take care of the one thing that matters most, ourselves. Somewhere in the hustle of it all, we lose sight of the small, everyday actions that can not only lengthen our lives, but make them richer and more fulfilling. Yet, deep down, there's a part of you that knows there's more to life than just getting by. You yearn for a deeper sense of well-being, for more joy in your daily routine, and for a life that leaves you feeling energized rather than exhausted. There's a wisdom that calls out, a desire to live purposefully, to break free from the chaos, and to find balance in a world that often feels overwhelming. What if you could unlock the secrets to that kind of life? At first glance, the idea of making profound changes to your life can feel daunting. After all, we've been conditioned to believe that transformation is a monumental task, one that requires drastic overhauls of habits and lifestyles. But what if that's not true? What if the secret to living a longer, happier life isn't about grand gestures or impossible to keep resolutions, but rather a series of simple, daily habits that can completely change the way you experience life? In the heart of this understanding lies an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time, Stoicism. Rooted in the teachings of great minds like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus and Seneca, Stoicism offers a framework for living a life of peace, purpose, and resilience. It is not some rigid or unattainable philosophy reserved for scholars or monks, but a practical guide for anyone who seeks to live a more balanced and meaningful life. It teaches us that happiness doesn't come from external circumstances, but from cultivating inner strength and aligning our actions with our core values. The beauty of Stoicism is in its simplicity. It doesn't ask you to overhaul your life in a single day. Instead, it invites you to start small, to incorporate daily habits that will not only help you live longer, but also infuse your life with more joy, purpose and tranquility. These habits aren't just for the Stoics of ancient Rome. They are for you, today, right now. The Stoics understood something we often overlook, that the small, consistent actions we take each day shape the trajectory of our lives. And the best part, these habits are accessible to everyone. No matter where you are in life, you can start incorporating them today and begin experiencing profound changes. There's a certain peace that comes when you know you're living in alignment with your true self. It's not about chasing after fleeting pleasures or constantly striving for more. It's about embracing a life where you find contentment in the present moment, where you feel a sense of control over your choices and where you wake up each day with a clear sense of purpose. You start to see that happiness isn't something you achieve after a lifetime of hard work. It's something you can cultivate right now in your everyday actions. Think about this for a moment. What if you could reflect on each day with a sense of pride, knowing that you lived it fully and with intention? What if the secret to a more joyful life isn't about doing more, but about being more present, more mindful, and more grateful for the simple pleasures life offers? Stoicism teaches us that by living in accordance with our values, by practicing gratitude, and by embracing life's challenges with grace, we can find true happiness. It's a happiness that isn't dependent on outside factors like wealth, status or success, but comes from within. This journey toward a longer, happier life doesn't begin with drastic changes or monumental achievements. It begins with small, deliberate actions that you can start right now. It begins with the decision to prioritize your well-being to let go of what doesn't serve you and to embrace a life of simplicity, balance and purpose. It begins with the choice to focus on what truly matters, your health, your mindset, your relationships 
and your sense of inner peace. As you embark on this journey, you'll start to notice that these small habits, when practiced consistently, begin to compound. They create a ripple effect that extends into every area of your life. You'll find that you have more energy, more clarity, and more peace of mind. You'll be able to handle stress and challenges with greater resilience, and you'll experience a deeper sense of fulfillment in your daily life. And as you continue to cultivate these habits, you'll see how they not only add years to your life, but also life to your years. This isn't just about living longer, it's about living better. It's about waking up each day with a sense of purpose and going to bed each night with a sense of peace. It's about feeling good in your body, your mind and your heart. It's about building a life that you love, one that reflects your values and brings you joy. And most importantly, it's about knowing that you have the power to create that life, starting with the small choices you make each day. There is something incredibly empowering about realizing that you hold the key to your own happiness. The Stoics believed that we cannot control what happens to us, but we can always control how we respond. And in that response lies our greatest power. By cultivating the right habits, habits rooted in Stoic wisdom, you can navigate life's ups and downs with grace, resilience, and a sense of calm that few people ever achieve. You can become the master of your own happiness. As you move forward, remember this. The journey to a longer, happier life isn't about perfection. It's not about having it all figured out or never making mistakes. It's about progress. It's about showing up for yourself every day, even when it's hard. It's about choosing to prioritize your well-being, even when the world around you is chaotic. It's about living with intention even when life pulls you in a million different directions. And it's about trusting that these small, simple habits will lead you to a life that is richer, fuller, and more meaningful than you ever thought possible. The time to start is now. The habits you choose today will shape the life you live tomorrow. So take a deep breath, ground yourself in the present moment, and know that you have everything you need to begin this journey. You don't need more time, more resources, or more motivation. You just need the willingness to start. Every great transformation begins with a single step, and this is yours. Your journey to a longer, happier life begins here, with these simple habits rooted in the wisdom of Stoicism. Now, it's time to embrace them. There is something deeply powerful about taking a moment at the end of each day to reflect. In the quiet stillness, when the world slows down and distractions fade away, you're left with your thoughts, your emotions, and your experiences. It is in these moments that the practice of Stoic journaling comes to life, offering clarity, peace, and most importantly, a deeper connection to yourself. This simple act of writing down your thoughts and actions can become a compass, guiding you toward a life of greater meaning and well-being. At the core of Stoic philosophy is the belief that true happiness comes from within. External circumstances, no matter how favorable, cannot guarantee inner peace. Stoic journaling is the tool that helps bridge the gap between the external noise and your internal world. When you commit to daily reflection, you're not just documenting the day's events, you're engaging in a practice that deepens self-awareness, builds emotional resilience, and enhances your overall well-being. One of the greatest benefits of Stoic journaling is the clarity it brings. Often, we move through our days in a blur, caught up in the demands of life, without pausing to process what's happening. Journaling offers a space to untangle your thoughts. Instead of letting emotions swirl in confusion, writing them down allows you to observe them objectively. This is where the true magic happens. By putting pen to paper, you can see patterns in your thinking, identify recurring themes in your emotions, and notice what triggers stress or joy. 
This newfound clarity helps you make better decisions, react more thoughtfully, and live with greater intentionality. Another key aspect of Stoic journaling is self-accountability. In the writings of Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic emperor, you'll notice a recurring theme, accountability to oneself. Each day he reflected on his actions, asking questions like, did I do my best today? And where can I improve? This practice keeps you grounded in reality, reminding you that growth is a continuous process. When you reflect on your own actions, both good and bad, you cultivate a sense of personal responsibility. Instead of blaming others or external factors for your challenges, you begin to take ownership of your responses. You stop being a victim of circumstances and start becoming the architect of your life. In these moments of reflection, you also begin to understand your values more clearly. What matters to you? What kind of person do you want to be? In the rush of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of your deeper values, but journaling brings them back into focus. It forces you to ask questions that cut through the distractions. Am I living in alignment with my values? And what actions today reflect who I want to be? By making this a daily practice, you train your mind to stay centered on what truly matters, rather than being pulled in a thousand different directions by fleeting impulses or external pressures. Over time, this habit of daily reflection also strengthens emotional resilience. Life is full of ups and downs, and no one can escape challenges. However, by reflecting on your emotions each day, you gain insight into how you react to adversity. You start to notice the thoughts that lead to stress, fear or frustration, and in doing so, you gain the power to change them. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Journaling helps you put this wisdom into practice. It allows you to detach from immediate emotional reactions and approach situations with greater calm and perspective. Over time, this emotional resilience becomes a source of strength, enabling you to navigate life's challenges with grace. Moreover, journaling can serve as a form of emotional release. Life can sometimes feel overwhelming, and when emotions build up, they need a healthy outlet. By writing down your thoughts and feelings, you release pent-up emotions in a safe and constructive way. Instead of bottling up anger, sadness or frustration, you allow these feelings to flow freely onto the page. This not only reduces stress, but also prevents emotions from spilling over into other areas of your life. Many people find that after journaling, they feel lighter, calmer and more centered. It's like releasing a burden you didn't realize you were carrying. Through this practice, you also gain a deeper sense of self-compassion. We are often our harshest critics, constantly judging ourselves for not being good enough, smart enough, or successful enough. Stoic journaling, however, teaches you to approach yourself with kindness. When you reflect on your actions with honesty and humility, you begin to see that mistakes are part of the learning process you become less judgmental and more forgiving of yourself. This doesn't mean you let yourself off the hook for poor behavior, but it does mean you learn to accept your humanity with grace. Each day becomes an opportunity for growth rather than a reflection of your failures. The benefits of stoic journaling extend beyond personal growth. It also enhances your relationships. By reflecting on your interactions with others, you become more mindful of how you communicate, how you react, and how you contribute to the dynamics of your relationships. You begin to see patterns in your behavior that may be contributing to conflicts or misunderstandings, and this awareness gives you the power to change. You become more patient, more empathetic, and more intentional in your relationships. As a result, your connections with others deepen and you create a more harmonious social environment. Furthermore, journaling helps cultivate gratitude, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. 
The Stoics believed that happiness is found in appreciating what you have, rather than constantly seeking more. By taking time each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for, you train your mind to focus on abundance rather than lack. This shift in perspective has profound effects on your well-being. Gratitude fosters a sense of contentment and reduces the constant craving for more that often leads to stress and dissatisfaction. When you regularly practice gratitude through journaling, you create a mindset of appreciation that carries over into all aspects of your life. Another profound effect of Stoic journaling is the way it enhances mindfulness. The act of sitting down to reflect on your day forces you to be present with your thoughts and emotions. In a world filled with distractions, this simple act of focusing your attention on the present moment is incredibly powerful. It helps you develop greater awareness of your mental and emotional state, allowing you to catch negative thought patterns before they spiral out of control. This mindfulness carries over into your daily life, helping you stay grounded in the present rather than getting lost in worries about the future or regrets about the past. Through this process, you also cultivate a greater sense of purpose. When you reflect on your day, you naturally start to ask yourself bigger questions. What am I working toward? And how can I make tomorrow better than today? This sense of purpose is critical to long-term well-being. Without it, life can feel aimless, like you're drifting from one day to the next without any real direction. But when you engage in daily reflection, you connect with your deeper goals and values, giving your life a sense of meaning and direction. You start to see each day as an opportunity to move closer to your true purpose, and this gives you a sense of fulfillment that nothing else can provide. Lastly, Stoic journaling fosters a sense of empowerment. By reflecting on your actions and choices, you take control of your life. You're no longer a passive participant, reacting to circumstances as they come. Instead, you become an active creator of your own reality. You realize that while you may not be able to control external events, you always have control over how you respond. This sense of empowerment is incredibly liberating. It gives you the confidence to face challenges head-on, knowing that you have the tools to navigate them with wisdom and resilience. In essence, Stoic journaling is more than just a daily habit. It is a transformative practice that enhances every aspect of your life. It offers clarity in times of confusion, emotional release in moments of stress, and a deeper connection to your true self. It helps you cultivate gratitude, build resilience, and live with greater purpose. Through daily reflection, you become more mindful, more compassionate, and more in tune with your values. And as you continue this practice, you'll find that not only does your well-being improve, but you also become the kind of person who inspires others by the way you live your life. The power of Stoic journaling lies in its simplicity. It doesn't require any special tools or resources, just a few minutes of your time and a willingness to reflect. Yet, its impact is profound. Each day, you have the opportunity to gain new insights, make better choices, and move closer to the life you truly want to live. The path to greater well-being is not found in grand gestures or monumental changes. It's found in the small, consistent actions you take every day. Stoic journaling is one such action, and its effects will ripple out into every area of your life, bringing you greater peace, clarity, and happiness. By adopting this practice, you're not just enhancing your own well-being, you're also embodying the wisdom of the Stoics, who understood that true happiness is found not in external circumstances, but in the way we choose to live our lives. Through daily reflection, you can unlock this ancient wisdom and use it to create a life of meaning, fulfillment, and joy. And as you continue to engage in this practice, you'll discover that the key to a longer, happier life has been within you all along. The act of daily reflection brings us closer to ourselves, 
helping us navigate life's complexities with clarity and purpose. But once we start to understand ourselves, there's something even more powerful waiting for us, simplicity. In a world that constantly pushes us to want more, to accumulate, and to chase after things we don't truly need, there's a deep wisdom in the practice of embracing less. There's a peace that comes when you strip away the unnecessary, when your focus shifts from having more to needing less. It's this philosophy that the Stoics held dear, understanding that the path to true happiness lies not in abundance, but in simplicity. The modern world tells us that happiness is found in acquiring more, more possessions, more experiences, more achievements. But this constant pursuit of more often leaves us feeling empty, weighed down by the very things we thought would bring us joy. The Stoics, on the other hand, teach us that happiness is not about accumulating, but about letting go. When we start to live with less, we make room for the things that truly matter. Peace of mind, meaningful relationships, and a sense of purpose. Living with less doesn't mean depriving yourself. It's not about scarcity or living in discomfort. It's about freedom. Freedom from the endless cycle of wanting, buying, and accumulating things that don't serve you. When you embrace simplicity, you create space in your life for what truly brings happiness and fulfillment. You stop chasing after things that only give temporary satisfaction and start focusing on what brings lasting joy. This is what the Stoics understood so well, that by eliminating the excess, we can find clarity and contentment in the things that truly matter. The first step in embracing simplicity is to question what you really need. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that happiness is just one purchase away. But when you take a step back, you realize how little you actually need to be content. The Stoics believed that by focusing on essentials and letting go of the rest, you free yourself from the burden of excess. This doesn't just apply to physical possessions. It applies to every aspect of life, our thoughts, our relationships, and even our time. When you let go of what doesn't serve you, you reclaim your energy and attention for the things that do. Simplicity also allows you to cultivate gratitude. When you strip away the distractions of materialism, you become more aware of the blessings already present in your life. You stop fixating on what's missing and start appreciating what you have. Gratitude, the Stoics teach us, is the key to happiness. When you're no longer constantly striving for more, you create space for contentment to grow. You start to find joy in the simple things, a quiet moment, a conversation with a loved one, or the beauty of nature. These are the things that truly nourish your soul, and when you live with less, you have the clarity to appreciate them fully. Living with less also frees you from the endless comparison trap. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with images of success, luxury, and perfection, it's easy to feel like you're falling behind. The Stoics remind us that true happiness comes from within, not from comparing ourselves to others. When you embrace simplicity, you step out of the race to keep up with everyone else. You start to define success on your own terms, focusing on what brings you joy and fulfillment, rather than what society tells you you should want. This shift in perspective is liberating, allowing you to live authentically and in alignment with your values. There's also a deep sense of peace that comes with living a simpler life. When you're not weighed down by excess, you have more mental and emotional space. Your mind becomes less cluttered and you can focus on what truly matters. The Stoics believed that inner peace was the foundation of happiness and simplicity is the path that leads us there. When you let go of unnecessary possessions, obligations and distractions, you create a life that is more aligned with your values and your purpose. You find that you no longer need to chase after external validation or approval because you're grounded in what's truly important. Embracing simplicity also gives you the gift of time. 
in a world that's always rushing, always moving, it's easy to feel like there's never enough time. But when you simplify your life, you start to realize that time is not something to be filled, but something to be cherished. You begin to prioritize your time differently, focusing on what brings you joy and fulfillment. The Stoics taught that our time is our most precious resource, and by living with less, we reclaim that time for what truly matters, whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing meaningful work, or simply being present in the moment. Another powerful aspect of simplicity is that it strengthens your connection to others. When you're no longer focused on accumulating things, you start to see that the true wealth in life is found in relationships. The Stoics understood that we are social beings and that our happiness is deeply connected to the quality of our relationships. When you simplify your life, you have more time and energy to invest in the people who matter most. You become more present, more attentive, and more able to connect on a deeper level. This leads to richer, more meaningful relationships, which in turn brings greater happiness and fulfillment. Living with less also makes you more resilient. The Stoics believed that by embracing simplicity, you become less attached to material things and more focused on inner strength. When you're not dependent on possessions for your happiness, you become more adaptable and better able to handle life's challenges. Simplicity teaches you to find joy in what you have, rather than constantly seeking more. This mindset makes you more resilient in the face of setbacks, because your happiness isn't tied to external circumstances. Instead, it comes from within, from your ability to navigate life with grace and wisdom. The Stoics also teach us that simplicity leads to greater freedom. When you're not constantly striving for more, you free yourself from the burden of materialism and the pressures of modern life. You become more independent, more self-reliant, and more in control of your own happiness. This freedom allows you to live a life that is true to yourself, rather than one dictated by society's expectations. You start to make choices based on what brings you joy and fulfillment, rather than what others think you should do. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, to live a life of simplicity, purpose, and inner peace. By embracing simplicity, you also develop a deeper connection to the present moment. The Stoics believed that happiness is found in the here and now, not in the past or the future. When you simplify your life, you create space to be fully present. You stop worrying about what's next and start appreciating what's in front of you. This shift in focus allows you to experience life more deeply, to savor the small moments, and to find joy in the everyday. The Stoics understood that the present moment is all we have, and by living with less, we can make the most of it. Simplicity also fosters creativity. When you remove the distractions and clutter from your life, you create space for new ideas to flourish. The Stoics believed that a clear mind is essential for creativity and problem solving, and simplicity is the key to achieving that clarity. When you're not overwhelmed by excess, you have the mental and emotional energy to explore new possibilities, to think more deeply, and to tap into your creative potential. This is another way that simplicity enhances your overall well-being by allowing you to engage more fully with the creative process and find joy in self-expression. As you continue to embrace simplicity, you'll also find that it leads to greater self-discipline. The Stoics believed that discipline was essential for living a virtuous and fulfilling life, and simplicity is a powerful tool for cultivating that discipline. When you choose to live with less, you practice restraint and mindfulness in your actions. You become more intentional about how you spend your time, your energy, and your resources. This discipline not only leads to greater happiness, but also to a sense of pride and accomplishment as you learn to live in alignment with your values. In the end, simplicity is not just about living with fewer possessions, it's about living with greater purpose and clarity. 
The Stoics understood that by stripping away the excess, we can focus on what truly matters. It's about finding joy in the essentials, cultivating gratitude, and living in alignment with your values. It's about reclaiming your time, your energy, and your peace of mind. And most importantly, it's about living a life that is true to yourself. In embracing simplicity, you unlock the freedom to live with intention and purpose. You let go of the distractions that pull you away from what matters, and you create space for the things that bring you joy, fulfillment, and peace. This is the stoic path to happiness, not in having more, but in needing less and finding contentment in the beauty of simplicity. As you continue this journey, you'll discover that living with less doesn't just lead to greater happiness, it leads to a deeper sense of meaning and fulfillment in every aspect of your life. The transition from simplicity into physical activity represents a natural progression in the stoic journey towards self-mastery. While clearing the clutter from your mind and life leads to greater peace, moving your body consistently fosters strength resilience, and discipline. In Stoicism, the cultivation of the mind, body, and soul are all interconnected. By incorporating consistent physical activity into your life, you not only build a stronger body, but also a sharper mind and a more balanced spirit. This practice becomes a daily reminder of your commitment to yourself, a physical manifestation of Stoic discipline. Physical activity, viewed through the lens of Stoicism, isn't about achieving perfection or an idealized version of the body. It's about growth, perseverance, and the willingness to push yourself beyond comfort. The Stoics teach that we cannot control what happens to us in life, but we can control how we respond. Consistent exercise is a powerful way to embody this principle. Each time you choose to exercise, you are making a conscious decision to take control of your well-being, to actively engage in a practice that strengthens not only your body, but your willpower and determination. There's a profound sense of self-discipline that comes with committing to regular physical activity. It is, at its core, an act of resilience. There will be days when you feel tired, when your mind tells you to rest, and when the world feels heavy. But it's precisely in these moments that stoic discipline shines. By choosing to exercise, even when you don't feel like it, you are cultivating the very resilience that stoicism encourages. You are training your mind to withstand discomfort, to push through resistance, and to rise above fleeting emotions. This discipline doesn't just stay in the gym or on the running track. It permeates every aspect of your life, teaching you to handle challenges with grace and determination. The Stoics believed in embracing hardship as a way to strengthen character. Regular physical activity is a modern interpretation of this ancient wisdom. Exercise, by its nature, involves discomfort. Whether it's the burn in your muscles during a workout, the sweat on your skin, or the fatigue that follows. But through consistent effort, you learn to embrace this discomfort rather than avoid it. In fact, you come to welcome it, knowing that each challenge you face during physical activity is an opportunity to grow stronger. The Stoics taught that hardship is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Through exercise, you train yourself to face hardship head on, knowing that with each repetition, each mile, each stretch, you are becoming more resilient, both physically and mentally. This practice of embracing discomfort through physical activity aligns perfectly with the Stoic concept of control. We cannot control what happens around us, but we can control how we engage with our own bodies. Exercise becomes a form of active resistance against the external chaos of the world. When you choose to move your body, you are reclaiming control. You are telling yourself that no matter what happens, you are capable of taking charge of your own health and well-being. This act of control fosters a deep sense of empowerment, a reminder that you have agency over your own life. 
Moreover, the physical benefits of consistent exercise cannot be overstated. The body becomes stronger, more flexible and more resilient. Regular movement improves cardiovascular health, builds muscle and enhances flexibility. But beyond the physical, there is an equally important mental benefit. Exercise is known to release endorphins, the body's natural mood lifters. After a good workout, your mind feels clearer, your mood lighter, and your stress levels reduced. The Stoics believed that a healthy mind resides in a healthy body, and regular physical activity is a key component of that balance. By taking care of your body, you are nurturing your mind, creating a harmonious balance between the two. The connection between physical activity and mental clarity is profound. When you engage in consistent exercise, you are not only strengthening your body, but also clearing your mind. The repetitive movements of exercise, whether it's running, lifting or yoga, create a meditative state, a time when the mind can quiet down and focus on the present moment. In this state, distractions fade away and you are left with clarity and focus. This is a practice the Stoics valued deeply. The ability to be present, to focus on what is within your control and to let go of the noise around you. Exercise becomes a tool for mindfulness, helping you to stay grounded in the moment and attuned to your body. This mindfulness extends beyond the gym. When you regularly engage in physical activity, you become more attuned to your body's needs and signals. You learn to listen to your body, to recognize when it needs rest and when it can be pushed further. This self-awareness is a key aspect of Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed in knowing oneself deeply, understanding your strengths, your weaknesses and your limits. Through regular exercise, you develop this awareness on a physical level, learning how to balance effort with rest, challenge with recovery. This self-knowledge, cultivated through movement, transfers to other areas of life, helping you make wiser, more intentional decisions. Physical activity also teaches humility. No matter how strong or fit you become, there will always be challenges that push you to your limits. There will always be a heavier weight to lift, a longer distance to run, or a more difficult pose to hold. The Stoics believed that humility was essential to personal growth. Through exercise, you are constantly reminded of your limitations, not as failures, but as opportunities for growth. Each challenge you face in physical activity humbles you, reminding you that there is always room for improvement, always more to learn. This humility fosters a growth mindset, a key component of Stoic philosophy, encouraging you to keep striving for progress, no matter how far you've come. Incorporating Stoic discipline into physical activity also involves a sense of gratitude. Each time you move your body, you are given the opportunity to appreciate what it can do. The Stoics taught that we should be grateful for what we have, rather than focusing on what we lack. Physical activity is a practice of gratitude in motion. Even on days when movement feels difficult or progress is slow, there is still a deep sense of gratitude for the ability to move, to breathe and to challenge yourself. This gratitude shifts your perspective, turning exercise from a chore into a privilege, a celebration of what your body is capable of. Furthermore, exercise serves as a reminder of the impermanence of life. The Stoics often reflected on the fragility of existence and physical activity brings you face to face with that reality. Your body, no matter how strong or fit it may be, is temporary. It will age, change and eventually decline. But rather than fearing this, the Stoics embraced it as a reminder to live fully in the present. By engaging in regular physical activity, you honor the body you have, knowing that it won't last forever. This awareness of impermanence fosters a deeper appreciation for the present moment and motivates you to make the most of your physical abilities while you can. 
There's also a powerful social aspect to physical activity that aligns with Stoic teachings. While Stoicism encourages inner reflection, it also emphasizes the importance of community and connection. Engaging in physical activity with others, whether through group classes, sports, or even casual walks, strengthens the bonds between people. The Stoics understood that we are social beings and that our well-being is deeply connected to the quality of our relationships. When you engage in physical activity with others, you share a common goal, a sense of camaraderie and mutual support. These shared experiences create a deeper sense of connection and bring greater meaning to the practice of exercise. In addition, consistent physical activity fosters self-discipline in other areas of life. When you commit to regular movement, you are training your mind to prioritize long-term benefits over short-term comfort. This discipline spills over into your daily decisions, helping you make healthier choices in areas such as diet, sleep, and time management. The Stoics believed that discipline was essential for living a virtuous life, and physical activity is one of the most accessible ways to cultivate that discipline. Each time you choose to exercise, you reinforce the belief that you are capable of achieving your goals through consistent effort and dedication. As you continue to engage in regular physical activity, you'll also notice a shift in your relationship with your body. The Stoics taught that we should not be overly attached to external things, including our physical appearance. Exercise, when approached with Stoic discipline, becomes less about achieving a certain look and more about building strength, endurance and resilience. You begin to appreciate your body not for how it looks, but for what it can do. This shift in focus fosters a healthier, more balanced relationship with your physical self, free from the pressures of societal standards or superficial goals. Lastly, consistent physical activity provides a sense of fulfillment that goes beyond physical health. The Stoics believed that a well-lived life was one of purpose and intention. When you incorporate regular exercise into your life, you are actively choosing to take care of yourself, to prioritize your well-being and to invest in your future. This sense of purpose is deeply fulfilling as it aligns with the Stoic belief that we should live in accordance with our values. By committing to physical activity, you are living in alignment with the value of self-discipline, resilience, and care for the body, mind, and soul. Consistent physical activity, guided by Stoic discipline, is not merely a means to an end, but a practice that enhances every aspect of your life. It fosters resilience, sharpens the mind, strengthens the body, and cultivates a deep sense of self-discipline. Through exercise, you learn to embrace discomfort, practice humility, and appreciate the present moment. It becomes a daily reminder of your commitment to growth, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually. In living with this stoic approach to physical activity, you not only build a healthier, stronger body, but a life of greater purpose, fulfillment, and inner strength. Each step you take, each weight you lift, and each stretch you hold is a testament to the power of Stoic discipline, helping you become the best version of yourself in body, mind, and soul. Consistent physical activity, rooted in Stoic discipline, helps build a resilient body and mind. But there's another key element that enhances your well-being and brings a deeper sense of fulfillment. Gratitude. When we take a moment to truly appreciate what we have, our health, our experiences, the people in our lives, we open the door to a happiness that goes beyond fleeting pleasure. The Stoics understood that gratitude was not just a practice, it was a way of living that could lead to a profound and lasting sense of joy. It's easy to focus on what we don't have or what we think is missing, but what if the real key to happiness was learning to value what's already present? Gratitude is more than simply saying thank you. It's about cultivating a mindset 
that sees abundance even in the most challenging circumstances. The Stoics believed that happiness does not come from external things, but from how we perceive and respond to the world. In their view, the practice of gratitude shifts our attention from what we lack to the richness of what we already possess. It's a mental exercise, one that trains the mind to focus on what is within our control and to find contentment in that. By appreciating the present, we free ourselves from the endless cycle of wanting and striving and instead experience true joy in the simplicity of the moment. This way of thinking is not always easy, especially in a world that constantly pushes us to seek more, more success, more material wealth, more validation. But the Stoics remind us that chasing external achievements can never bring lasting happiness. True fulfillment comes from being grateful for what we already have. When we cultivate gratitude, we learn to let go of the desire for more and instead find satisfaction in the present. This shift in perspective has the power to transform how we experience life, making us more resilient, more content, and ultimately, more joyful. Gratitude is deeply intertwined with Stoic philosophy's core belief in controlling our perceptions. We can't control external events, but we can always choose how we respond. In the same way, we may not always have the life we envisioned, but we can choose to appreciate the life we have. This is the essence of Stoic gratitude, focusing on the positive aspects of our current situation rather than dwelling on what is lacking. It's a practice that can be applied daily in every circumstance. Whether we're facing hardship or enjoying success, gratitude allows us to remain grounded and appreciative of the moment. One of the most powerful effects of practicing gratitude is the way it shifts our relationship with time. We often get caught up in thinking about the future, worrying about what's next, or feeling anxious about things beyond our control. Gratitude pulls us back into the present, reminding us to savor the here and now. The Stoics taught that the present moment is all we truly have, and gratitude helps us fully embrace it. When we're grateful, we stop rushing through life, and instead, we begin to truly experience it. This presence brings a sense of peace, a break from the constant pressure to do more or be more. In that space, joy naturally emerges. Another profound benefit of practicing gratitude is how it strengthens relationships. The Stoics believed that meaningful relationships are essential to a fulfilling life, and gratitude is one of the most effective ways to nurture these connections. When we express gratitude toward others, we deepen our bonds, showing appreciation for their presence and their impact on our lives. Gratitude fosters kindness, empathy, and mutual respect, creating an environment where relationships can thrive. It transforms how we interact with the people around us, encouraging a sense of connection and shared understanding. By focusing on gratitude, we also develop a greater sense of resilience. Life is filled with challenges and setbacks, but gratitude helps us see those difficulties in a different light. Instead of feeling defeated by hardship, we can choose to be grateful for the lessons they bring. The Stoics often reflected on the value of adversity, viewing it as an opportunity for growth. Gratitude allows us to see even the most difficult experiences as stepping stones toward greater wisdom and strength. This mindset doesn't erase the pain of life's challenges, but it empowers us to face them with grace and fortitude. Gratitude also teaches humility. The Stoics emphasize the importance of recognizing our limitations and accepting the things we cannot change. Practicing gratitude involves acknowledging that much of what we have, our health, our opportunities, our relationships, is a result of factors beyond our control. This realization fosters a deep sense of humility, reminding us that we are not the sole architects of our lives. Gratitude encourages us to appreciate the contributions of others 
and to recognize the interconnectedness of all things. In this way, it grounds us in a sense of shared humanity, helping us to let go of arrogance and entitlement. Furthermore, gratitude has a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being. When we focus on what we are thankful for, we rewire our brains to seek out the positive aspects of life. This practice gradually shifts our mindset from one of scarcity to one of abundance. Instead of fixating on what's missing, we begin to notice the richness of what's present. This shift in focus reduces stress, anxiety and negativity, leading to a more optimistic and contented outlook. The Stoics understood that true happiness is found in cultivating inner peace, and gratitude is one of the most powerful tools for achieving that peace. Gratitude also helps us maintain perspective. In moments of frustration or disappointment, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. We can become consumed by minor setbacks or inconveniences, allowing them to cloud our judgment. But when we take a step back and practice gratitude, we gain a broader perspective. We begin to see those challenges as small in the grand scheme of things, and we are reminded of the many blessings in our lives. This perspective allows us to approach difficulties with greater calm and clarity, knowing that they are temporary and that there is still much to be grateful for. The Stoics believed that living in accordance with nature was key to a fulfilling life. Gratitude aligns with this principle by encouraging us to appreciate the natural world and our place within it. When we take time to notice the beauty of nature, the warmth of the sun, the sound of the wind, the resilience of a tree, we connect more deeply with the world around us. This connection fosters a sense of belonging and harmony reminding us that we are part of something greater than ourselves. In this way, gratitude helps us cultivate a deeper respect for nature and a greater sense of stewardship for the world we inhabit. Another aspect of gratitude that resonates with Stoic philosophy is the practice of contentment. The Stoics taught that true contentment comes not from external possessions or achievements, but from within. Gratitude is a direct path to cultivating this inner contentment. When we focus on what we are grateful for, we stop seeking happiness in external things and instead find it in the present moment. This practice of contentment allows us to let go of the constant desire for more and to appreciate the simplicity and beauty of what we already have. It is in this contentment that we find true joy and peace. Gratitude also encourages a sense of abundance, not in the material sense, but in the richness of experience and connection. The Stoics understood that true wealth is not measured by how much we have, but by how much we appreciate what we have. Practicing gratitude helps us recognize the abundance in our lives, the love of family and friends, the opportunities we've been given, the lessons we've learned. This sense of abundance leads to a greater sense of fulfillment, allowing us to approach life with a spirit of generosity and openness. Moreover, gratitude fosters a sense of purpose. The Stoics believed that living with purpose was essential to a meaningful life, and gratitude helps us connect with that purpose on a deeper level. When we are grateful, we become more attuned to the things that truly matter, our relationships, our passions, our contributions to the world. This awareness guides us toward living with greater intention and clarity, helping us prioritize what aligns with our values. In this way, gratitude becomes a compass, pointing us toward a life of purpose and fulfillment. Gratitude also enhances our ability to cope with uncertainty. The Stoics were well aware of the unpredictable nature of life and they taught that peace of mind comes from accepting what we cannot control. Gratitude helps us embrace this uncertainty by focusing on what is constant and dependable in our lives. Even in the midst of change or upheaval, we can always find something to be grateful for, a supportive friend, a moment of peace, or a lesson learned. 
This practice helps us stay grounded, even when the future feels uncertain, and reminds us that there is always something to appreciate in the present. In practicing gratitude, we also develop a deeper sense of self-awareness. The Stoics believed in knowing oneself fully, understanding one's strengths and weaknesses, and cultivating a life in alignment with one's values. Gratitude invites us to reflect on what we cherish most in life, helping us gain clarity about our priorities and desires. This self-awareness allows us to make more intentional choices, aligning our actions with what truly matters to us. In this way, gratitude not only fosters happiness, but also helps us live with greater authenticity and integrity. Finally, gratitude has the power to transform our relationship with ourselves. The Stoics taught that we should treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we offer others. Gratitude helps us cultivate self-compassion, encouraging us to appreciate our own efforts, strengths and growth. Instead of focusing on our shortcomings or failures, we learn to acknowledge our progress and to be grateful for the journey. This practice fosters a healthier relationship with ourselves, one based on acceptance and appreciation rather than criticism and judgment. Practicing gratitude as the Stoics understood it is not a superficial exercise, but a profound way of engaging with life. It shifts our focus from what we lack to the richness of what we have, fostering contentment, resilience and joy. Gratitude deepens our relationships, enhances our mental well-being and helps us maintain perspective in the face of challenges. It encourages humility, self-awareness and a sense of purpose, guiding us toward a life that is more aligned with our values. By cultivating gratitude, we not only bring more happiness into our lives, but also live in a way that reflects the wisdom of the Stoics, a life of presence, appreciation and fulfillment. Gratitude, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, teaches us to appreciate the present and to find joy in what we already have. It helps us live with a sense of peace and contentment. But this sense of gratitude and moderation extends far beyond our thoughts and emotions. It reaches into the most fundamental aspect of life, how we nourish our bodies. Just as the Stoics encouraged balance in all things, they also emphasized moderation in eating. What we choose to consume each day has a profound impact on our health, well-being and overall sense of balance. Mindful eating, grounded in Stoic principles, becomes not just a way to fuel the body, but a practice that sharpens the mind and strengthens the spirit. The Stoics believed in living with intention, and this includes how we approach food. In today's fast-paced world, eating can easily become a rushed, unconscious act, a habit filled with distractions, indulgences, and a lack of awareness. The Stoics, however, saw the act of eating as an opportunity to practice discipline, gratitude, and self-control. By bringing mindfulness into our meals, we transform the way we relate to food, moving away from excess and toward moderation. This shift not only benefits our physical health, but also aligns with the Stoic belief in living a life of purpose and restraint. When you eat mindfully, you engage fully with the present moment. You slow down, savoring each bite and allowing yourself to experience the flavors, textures and sensations of the food. This act of mindful eating brings you into a state of awareness, helping you connect more deeply with your body and its needs. In contrast to mindless snacking or overeating, mindful eating teaches you to listen to your body's signals when it's hungry when it's satisfied, and when it's had enough. This awareness prevents overindulgence, helping you maintain balance and moderation in your diet. The Stoics valued self-control, and eating mindfully is an exercise in just that. It's easy to reach for food out of habit or emotion, whether it's stress, boredom, or simply the desire for comfort. But mindful eating requires you to pause, reflect, 
and ask yourself whether you are truly hungry or simply seeking a distraction. This practice cultivates self-discipline, allowing you to make choices that are in alignment with your values rather than being driven by impulse. By practicing moderation, you honor the stoic principle of temperance, recognizing that true satisfaction comes not from indulgence, but from balance and control. There's also a deep sense of gratitude that arises when we eat mindfully. The Stoics often reflected on the interconnectedness of all things, and this awareness extends to the food we eat. When you take the time to appreciate the journey that each meal has taken, from the earth to your plate, you develop a greater sense of appreciation for the nourishment you receive. This gratitude transforms your relationship with food, helping you see it not just as fuel, but as a gift that sustains your body and mind. In this way, mindful eating becomes an act of gratitude, deepening your connection to the world around you. In practicing mindful eating, you also become more attuned to the quality of the food you consume. The Stoics believed in living in harmony with Natura, and this principle can be applied to our diets as well. When you approach eating with awareness, you begin to notice how different foods affect your body. You start to make more intentional choices, favoring foods that nourish and energize you, rather than those that leave you feeling sluggish or unwell. This alignment with nature encourages you to eat whole, unprocessed foods that support your health, allowing you to feel more vibrant and balanced in your daily life. Moderation in diet is a key aspect of Stoic philosophy, and it goes hand in hand with mindful eating. The Stoics taught that indulgence leads to discomfort, distraction, and a lack of control. By practicing moderation, you avoid the extremes of overindulgence and deprivation, finding a middle ground that supports both your physical and mental well-being. When you eat just enough to satisfy your hunger without overeating, you create a sense of balance that allows your body to function at its best. This moderation not only supports your health, but also brings a sense of clarity and focus to your mind. Another benefit of mindful eating is that it encourages a deeper connection to your body's natural rhythms. The Stoics believed in the importance of aligning with the natural order of things, and this includes listening to your body's cues for hunger and fullness. In today's world, it's easy to eat out of habit or in response to external cues, whether it's the time of day or the sight of food. But by practicing mindful eating, you learn to tune in to your body's signals, eating when you are truly hungry and stopping when you are satisfied. This practice helps you maintain a healthy relationship with food, free from the patterns of overeating or emotional eating that can disrupt your well-being. Mindful eating also fosters a sense of patience. In a world where instant gratification is the norm, eating slowly and with intention can feel challenging. But the Stoics valued patience and self-restraint, recognizing that true satisfaction comes from the ability to delay immediate pleasure in favor of long-term well-being. When you eat mindfully, you practice patience with yourself and your body, allowing each bite to nourish you fully. This patience extends beyond the meal itself, teaching you to approach other areas of life with the same sense of calm and self-control. Incorporating stoic moderation into your diet also encourages a sense of simplicity. The Stoics believed that happiness comes not from excess, but from appreciating what is essential. This principle can be applied to the way we eat as well. Rather than seeking out complex or extravagant meals, Stoic moderation invites you to find joy in simple, wholesome foods that nourish the body without overcomplicating the process. This simplicity in eating reflects a larger Stoic value of living with less and finding contentment in what is necessary rather than constantly seeking more. There's also a profound connection between mindful eating and mindfulness in other areas of life. The Stoics taught that how you do one thing is how you do everything, 
and this is especially true with food. When you approach eating with mindfulness and moderation, it creates a ripple effect that extends into other aspects of your life. You become more intentional in how you spend your time, how you interact with others, and how you approach challenges. This mindfulness, rooted in the simple act of eating, fosters a deeper sense of presence and purpose in all that you do. By practicing mindful eating, you also cultivate a sense of self-compassion. The Stoics believed in treating oneself with kindness and understanding, recognizing that we are all works in progress. When you eat mindfully, you give yourself permission to listen to your body's needs without judgment. You learn to trust your body's wisdom, knowing that it will guide you toward balance and well-being if you allow it to. This self-compassion extends beyond the meal, helping you develop a healthier, more supportive relationship with yourself and your choices. Mindful eating also encourages a sense of responsibility. The Stoics believed in living with integrity and taking responsibility for one's actions, and this principle applies to how we approach food as well. When you eat mindfully, you become more aware of the impact your food choices have on your health, the environment, and the people who produce your food. This awareness encourages you to make more ethical and sustainable choices, aligning your diet with your values and supporting a more mindful, compassionate way of living. In practicing moderation in your diet, you also develop a greater sense of self-discipline. The Stoics taught that discipline is essential for living a virtuous life, and this is especially true when it comes to food. It's easy to indulge in cravings or to eat mindlessly when we're stressed or distracted, but mindful eating requires discipline. It asks you to be present, to make conscious choices, and to resist the urge for instant gratification. This discipline, once cultivated in your eating habits, extends to other areas of life, helping you stay focused, intentional, and in control. There's also a certain sense of freedom that comes from practicing moderation in diet. The Stoics believed that true freedom comes not from indulging every desire, but from mastering them. When you eat mindfully and practice moderation, you free yourself from the cycles of overeating, guilt, and restriction that often accompany an unbalanced relationship with food. Instead, you create a sense of ease and balance, allowing food to nourish and support you without becoming a source of stress or anxiety. This freedom extends beyond the meal, helping you approach life with a greater sense of calm and control. Mindful eating, guided by stoic principles of moderation and self-discipline, is not just about what you eat, but how you eat. It transforms the act of eating into a practice of mindfulness, gratitude, and self-control. By slowing down, listening to your body, and making conscious choices, you create a healthier relationship with food, one that supports both your physical health and your mental well-being. This practice of mindful eating aligns with the larger Stoic values of simplicity, self-discipline, and living in harmony with nature, helping you cultivate a life of balance, purpose, and fulfillment. As you continue on this journey of mindful eating, you'll discover that it's not just about nourishing your body, it's about nourishing your mind and spirit as well. Each meal becomes an opportunity to practice presence, to honor your body's needs, and to align your actions with your values. By embracing stoic moderation in your diet, you create a foundation for better health and a more intentional, fulfilling way of living. Just as the Stoics taught that happiness comes from within, mindful eating teaches that true nourishment comes not from external indulgence, but from inner balance and self-awareness. Mindful eating teaches us to be present, to honor our body's needs, and to live in harmony with nature. But there is another essential element to living a balanced life, the relationships we build. The Stoics recognize that while much of life is outside our control, how we treat others and foster meaningful connections 
is entirely within our power. Relationships are at the core of what it means to live well. They bring richness, purpose and joy to our lives, but only if we approach them with intention, care and wisdom. Building positive relationships requires effort, patience and a deep understanding of human nature, qualities that Stoic philosophy guides us toward. The Stoics believed that relationships are vital, not just for personal happiness, but for living a life of virtue. We are, by nature, social beings, and it's through our connections with others that we grow, learn, and find purpose. But these connections don't come easily. Relationships can be challenging, filled with misunderstandings, frustrations, and disappointments. However, the Stoics teach us that by approaching relationships with wisdom, compassion, and self-awareness, we can build deeper, more meaningful connections. The key is to foster relationships that are based on mutual respect, understanding, and a shared commitment to personal growth. One of the core tenets of Stoic philosophy is the idea of focusing on what is within our control and letting go of what is not. This principle is especially important when it comes to relationships. We cannot control how others behave, think or feel, but we can control our own actions, reactions and attitudes. When we accept this, we free ourselves from the frustration of trying to change others and instead focus on being the best version of ourselves within the relationship. This mindset allows us to approach relationships with a sense of calm and patience, knowing that we can only control our part in the dynamic. The Stoics also believed in the importance of empathy. To foster positive relationships, we must be willing to see the world through another person's eyes. This requires active listening, compassion, and a genuine interest in understanding the other person's perspective. When we practice empathy, we create a space where the other person feels heard and valued. This builds trust, strengthens the bond, and allows for a deeper connection. Empathy helps us navigate conflicts and misunderstandings with grace, turning potential sources of tension into opportunities for growth. In fostering positive relationships, the Stoics also emphasized the importance of humility. Too often, relationships are strained by ego, by the need to be right, to win arguments, or to assert dominance. But the Stoics remind us that humility is essential to meaningful connections. When we approach relationships with humility, we let go of the need to always be right, and instead focus on understanding and learning from the other person. This humility allows us to admit when we are wrong, to apologize when necessary, and to approach disagreements with an open mind. It fosters a sense of equality and respect, which is the foundation of any strong relationship. Another important aspect of Stoic wisdom in relationships is the idea of acceptance. The Stoics taught that we must accept people as they are, rather than trying to mold them into who we think they should be. This doesn't mean we condone harmful behavior, but rather that we recognize that everyone is on their own journey, with their own strengths and weaknesses. By accepting others as they are, we create a space for authentic connection. We let go of unrealistic expectations and allow the relationship to grow naturally, based on mutual respect and understanding. This acceptance fosters a deeper sense of connection and reduces the tension that comes from trying to control or change others. Stoic philosophy also teaches us to focus on the quality rather than the quantity of our relationships. In a world that often values popularity and social status, the Stoics remind us that it is far better to have a few deep, meaningful relationships than many superficial ones. Building strong relationships requires time, effort and emotional investment and it is through these deep connections that we find true fulfillment. When we prioritize quality over quantity, we create relationships that are built on trust, loyalty and mutual respect. Connections that nourish the soul 
and bring lasting joy. The Stoics believed that honesty is essential in fostering positive relationships. Being truthful with ourselves and others builds trust and creates a foundation for meaningful connection. This honesty requires vulnerability, the willingness to share our thoughts, feelings and imperfections. While it can be uncomfortable, vulnerability is a key component of strong relationships. It allows us to connect on a deeper level, to move beyond superficial pleasantries, and to build relationships based on authenticity. When we are honest and vulnerable, we invite the other person to do the same, creating a relationship that is built on mutual trust and understanding. Boundaries are another important aspect of Stoic wisdom in relationships. The Stoics believed in the importance of self-respect and maintaining personal boundaries. While relationships require compromise and sacrifice, it is essential that we also honor our own needs and values. Setting healthy boundaries ensures that we do not lose ourselves in the relationship or allow others to take advantage of our kindness. Boundaries create a sense of balance, allowing us to give to the relationship without overextending ourselves. They also foster respect, as they communicate to the other person what we need in order to feel valued and supported. In fostering positive relationships, the Stoics also emphasized the importance of forgiveness. Holding on to grudges and resentment only serves to poison the relationship and our own peace of mind. The Stoics taught that forgiveness is an essential part of living a virtuous life. When we forgive others, we free ourselves from the burden of anger and bitterness and create the opportunity for healing and growth within the relationship. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or condoning harmful behavior, but rather choosing to let go of the pain and move forward with compassion and understanding. Another aspect of Stoic wisdom in relationships is the practice of gratitude. Just as we practice gratitude in other areas of life, we can also practice gratitude within our relationships. By appreciating the positive qualities and contributions of the people in our lives, we foster a sense of connection and joy. Gratitude helps us focus on the strengths of the relationship rather than its flaws, allowing us to nurture and strengthen the bond. When we express gratitude to others, we also make them feel valued and appreciated, which deepens the connection and strengthens the relationship. The Stoics believed in living with purpose, and this extends to relationships as well. Building meaningful connections requires intentionality, an active commitment to nurturing the relationship and helping it grow. This means being present, showing up for the other person, and investing time and energy into the relationship. It also means supporting the other person's growth and well-being, helping them become the best version of themselves. Relationships, when approached with purpose, become a source of mutual support, growth and fulfillment. Fostering positive relationships also requires patience. The Stoics understood that relationships, like all things, take time to grow and develop. It's easy to become frustrated when things don't go smoothly or when conflicts arise, but the Stoics remind us that patience is key. Relationships are a journey and they require time, effort and understanding. By approaching relationships with patience, we create the space for growth and healing, allowing the connection to deepen over time. This patience fosters resilience within the relationship, helping it withstand the inevitable challenges that arise. In fostering meaningful connections, the Stoics also taught the importance of presence. In today's world, it's easy to become distracted, whether by technology, work, or the demands of daily life. But meaningful relationships require presence, the ability to be fully engaged and attentive when we are with the other person. When we are present, we show the other person that they matter, that we value their time and company. This presence deepens the connection, allowing us to truly understand and appreciate the other person. It also fosters a sense of intimacy and trust, 
which are essential for building strong relationships. The Stoics also recognized that relationships are a reflection of our own character. The way we treat others is a direct reflection of our values, virtues, and self-awareness. By approaching relationships with wisdom, compassion, and integrity, we not only build stronger connections, but also strengthen our own character. Relationships become a mirror through which we can see our own strengths and areas for growth. They provide an opportunity for self-reflection and personal development, helping us become better versions of ourselves. Another important aspect of Stoic wisdom in relationships is the practice of detachment. The Stoics taught that while we should invest in our relationships and care deeply for the people in our lives, we must also maintain a sense of detachment. This detachment allows us to love and support others without becoming overly dependent on them for our happiness or sense of self-worth. It reminds us that, while relationships are important, they are not the sole source of our well-being. By maintaining a healthy balance of attachment and detachment, we create relationships that are based on mutual respect and independence, rather than need or dependency. Fostering positive relationships through the lens of Stoic wisdom involves a deep commitment to empathy, humility, and self-awareness. It requires us to approach relationships with patience, presence, and intentionality, while also maintaining healthy boundaries and practicing forgiveness. Relationships, when nurtured with Stoic principles, become a source of growth, joy, and fulfillment. They help us become better versions of ourselves while also enriching the lives of those we care about. By building meaningful connections based on mutual respect and understanding, we create a life that is more aligned with our values and more deeply connected to the world around us. Through Stoic wisdom, we learn that relationships are not just a source of happiness, they are a path to living a virtuous, purposeful, and fulfilled life. Positive relationships, rooted in Stoic wisdom, bring a sense of balance and fulfillment into our lives. But even the strongest connections and the most disciplined practices require something that is often overlooked, rest. The Stoics understood that just as we must act with purpose and intention, we must also know when to step back, recharge, and allow ourselves to recover. The idea of balance permeates Stoic philosophy, and nowhere is this more evident than in the way we approach rest and recovery. In a world that glorifies constant activity and productivity, the Stoic approach reminds us that true strength comes from knowing when to pause. Rest is not simply about sleep or taking breaks. It's about cultivating a deeper sense of balance in every area of life. When we push ourselves to the point of exhaustion, physically or mentally, we lose the clarity and focus needed to make thoughtful decisions. Stoicism teaches that moderation and balance are key to a fulfilling life, and this includes balancing action with rest. By prioritizing recovery, we create the space to reflect, heal, and regain the energy necessary to continue pursuing our goals with renewed purpose. In this way, rest becomes not a luxury, but a vital part of our well-being and longevity. The Stoic practice of rest is rooted in self-awareness. Just as we must be mindful of our thoughts and actions, we must also be mindful of our body's signals. The body, much like the mind, requires care and attention. When we ignore the need for rest, we not only risk burnout, but also diminish our capacity to live fully and with intention. The Stoics believed in living in harmony with nature, and part of that harmony involves recognizing the natural rhythms of exertion and recovery. By tuning in to the body's needs, we align ourselves with these rhythms, fostering a sense of balance that enhances both our physical and mental health. Rest, from a Stoic perspective, also involves the mind. In a culture where we are constantly bombarded with information, tasks, and distractions, 
mental rest is as important as physical rest. The Stoics valued the cultivation of inner peace, and part of achieving that peace is knowing when to quiet the mind. This doesn't mean withdrawing from life's challenges, but rather creating moments of stillness where the mind can process, reflect, and recharge. These moments of mental rest allow us to approach life's challenges with greater clarity, resilience, and wisdom. One of the greatest lessons we can learn from Stoicism is the importance of not overextending ourselves. The Stoics were firm believers in moderation, knowing that excess in any form leads to imbalance. This principle applies to how we work, think, and live. When we push ourselves too hard, without allowing time for rest, we risk depleting our energy reserves and losing sight of our goals. By practicing moderation in our efforts, we ensure that we can sustain our pursuits over the long term. Rest, then, becomes a form of self-care that allows us to maintain our momentum without burning out. In prioritizing rest, we also cultivate patience. The Stoics taught that patience is essential for living a life of virtue. Rest requires us to slow down, to let go of the need for constant productivity, and to trust that rest is just as important as action. In a world that often values speed and efficiency, taking time to rest can feel counterproductive. But the Stoics remind us that rest is an investment in our long-term well-being. By being patient with ourselves and allowing time for recovery, we build the resilience needed to face life's challenges with strength and clarity. Rest also fosters self-reflection. The Stoics placed great emphasis on the practice of daily reflection, and rest provides the perfect opportunity for this. When we pause and take time to recover, we create the mental space to reflect on our actions, our thoughts, and our progress. This reflection helps us gain insight into our lives, allowing us to make more intentional choices moving forward. By incorporating rest into our routine, we create a cycle of action and reflection that leads to personal growth and a deeper understanding of ourselves. The Stoic approach to rest also emphasizes the importance of quality over quantity. It's not about how long we rest, but how we rest. True rest is restorative, meaning it should replenish both the body and mind. This requires mindfulness in how we spend our time during periods of rest. Instead of mindlessly distracting ourselves with entertainment or technology, the Stoics encourage us to engage in activities that truly recharge us, whether it's reading, meditating, spending time in nature, or simply being present with our thoughts. By focusing on quality rest, we ensure that we are truly rejuvenated and ready to face life's demands with renewed energy. In addition to physical and mental rest, the Stoics also recognize the importance of emotional rest. Life's challenges often take an emotional toll, and it's essential to create space to process and release those emotions. Emotional rest allows us to step back from the intensity of daily life, to let go of stress, and to reconnect with a sense of inner calm. The Stoics believed that emotional resilience was key to living a virtuous life, and rest plays a critical role in maintaining that resilience. By allowing ourselves time to rest emotionally, we prevent the buildup of stress and anxiety, ensuring that we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease. Another important aspect of rest in Stoic philosophy is the concept of detachment. The Stoics taught that we should not be overly attached to outcomes, whether in our work, relationships, or personal goals. This detachment extends to the way we approach rest. Instead of viewing rest as something we earn only after hard work, the Stoics encourage us to see rest as an essential part of life's natural cycle. By detaching from the idea that rest is a reward, we can approach it with a sense of balance, recognizing that it is necessary for maintaining our health and well-being. In prioritizing rest, we also develop a greater sense of self-compassion. 
The Stoics believed in treating oneself with kindness and understanding, recognizing that we are not machines, but human beings with limits. Resting is an act of self-compassion, acknowledging that we deserve to take care of ourselves and that rest is not a sign of weakness, but of wisdom. By practicing self-compassion, we give ourselves permission to rest without guilt, knowing that it is essential for our long-term well-being. Rest also teaches us the value of letting go. The Stoics often spoke about the importance of accepting what we cannot control, and rest is a powerful way to practice this. When we rest, we let go of the need to be constantly doing, achieving, or fixing things. We allow ourselves to step back, trusting that the world will continue without our constant input. This act of letting go fosters a sense of peace and acceptance, reminding us that we are not defined by our productivity, but by our ability to live with balance and wisdom. Furthermore, rest helps us maintain perspective. In the busyness of daily life, it's easy to become consumed by tasks, goals and challenges. But when we take time to rest, we gain a broader perspective. We are reminded that life is not a race, but a journey, and that rest is an essential part of that journey. By stepping back, we create the mental and emotional space to see the bigger picture, to reflect on what truly matters, and to approach life with a greater sense of purpose and clarity. Incorporating rest into our lives also allows us to be more present in the moments that matter. The Stoics valued presence, being fully engaged in the present moment, and rest helps us cultivate this presence. When we are well rested, we are better able to focus, to connect with others, and to enjoy life's simple pleasures. Rest enhances our ability to be present with our loved ones, to engage in meaningful conversations, and to experience joy in everyday moments. It reminds us that life is not just about achieving and doing, but also about being, being present, being aware, and being at peace. Rest also enhances creativity. The Stoics believed in the importance of intellectual and creative pursuits, and rest plays a critical role in fostering creativity. When we allow ourselves to step away from the constant demands of work and daily life, we create the mental space for new ideas to emerge. Rest gives our minds the opportunity to wander, to explore new possibilities, and to approach problems from a fresh perspective. This creativity, born out of rest, allows us to innovate, to grow, and to find new solutions to the challenges we face. In addition to fostering creativity, rest also improves our ability to make thoughtful decisions. The Stoics placed great value on wisdom and thoughtful action, and rest is essential for making wise decisions. When we are tired or overwhelmed, our judgment becomes clouded, and we are more likely to make impulsive or reactive choices. But when we are well rested, we can approach decisions with a clear mind, weighing our options carefully and acting in alignment with our values. By prioritizing rest, we enhance our ability to make choices that lead to long-term success and fulfillment. Finally, the Stoic approach to rest reminds us that rest is not an end in itself, but a means to live a more balanced, intentional life. Rest allows us to recharge so that we can continue to pursue our goals with purpose and energy. It is not about escaping from life's challenges, but about preparing ourselves to face them with greater strength and resilience. By integrating rest into our lives, we create a foundation for long-term well-being, enabling us to live in harmony with the Stoic principles of balance, moderation and wisdom. Prioritizing rest and recovery, as guided by Stoic philosophy, is essential for living a balanced and fulfilling life. Rest is not just about recharging the body, but also about nurturing the mind, emotions and spirit. It teaches us patience, self-compassion and the importance of letting go. It fosters creativity, enhances decision-making 
and helps us maintain perspective in the midst of life's challenges. By embracing rest as a vital part of our well-being, we align ourselves with the stoic belief in balance and moderation, creating a life that is not only productive, but also deeply rewarding. Rest, in its many forms, allows us to live with greater presence, purpose and peace. Rest and recovery, essential pillars of stoic wisdom, teach us the importance of balance, reminding us to nurture our bodies and minds so that we may face life's challenges with renewed strength. But rest is not an escape from purpose. On the contrary, it recharges us so we can continue living with meaning and intention. Living with purpose is central to Stoic philosophy. It's not just about drifting through life, but about setting goals that align with your values and acting with clarity and conviction. Purpose gives direction to our actions, transforms the mundane into the meaningful, and ultimately leads to a life that is both fulfilling and impactful. In the Stoic tradition, living with purpose is not about chasing material success or fame. Instead, it's about defining what truly matters to you and setting goals that reflect those deeper values. The Stoics believed that happiness is found not in external achievements, but in living in accordance with nature and virtue. By setting goals that are rooted in your principles and beliefs, you create a roadmap for a life of substance and meaning. These goals, however, are not rigid or fixed. Rather, they are guides that help you navigate the complexities of life with intention and resilience. Living with purpose through stoic goal setting is a process of self-discovery. It requires you to reflect deeply on what matters most to you and to ask yourself whether your daily actions align with those priorities. Stoicism encourages you to look beyond surface-level desires and to focus on what will bring lasting fulfillment. This might mean setting goals that challenge you to grow as a person, to develop virtues such as wisdom, courage and compassion, or to contribute to the well-being of others. Whatever the specifics, the key is to ensure that your goals are aligned with your deepest values. Stoic goal setting also emphasizes the importance of focusing on what is within your control. The Stoics taught that while we cannot control the outcome of our efforts, we can control the effort itself. This mindset shifts the focus from external validation to internal growth. When you set goals that prioritize the process over the outcome, you liberate yourself from the fear of failure and the pressure of perfection. Instead, you learn to appreciate the journey, knowing that the true reward lies in the pursuit of excellence, not in the achievement of a particular result. This approach to goal setting fosters resilience. In life, things rarely go exactly as planned. We face setbacks, obstacles and unexpected challenges. But Stoic wisdom teaches that adversity is not something to be feared, but something to be embraced. When your goals are rooted in purpose, you are better able to navigate these challenges with grace. The Stoics believed that every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. By setting goals that align with your values, you strengthen your ability to persevere in the face of difficulty, knowing that the pursuit itself is what shapes your character and brings meaning to your life. Purpose-driven goals also help to simplify life. When you know what you are working toward, it becomes easier to eliminate distractions and focus on what truly matters. The Stoics were advocates of simplicity, believing that a life cluttered with unnecessary pursuits is one that lacks focus and clarity. By setting clear, purposeful goals, you streamline your efforts, cutting away the excess and honing in on what is truly important. This clarity brings a sense of calm and direction, helping you to navigate life's complexities with greater ease. Living with purpose also requires the ability to adapt. While having clear goals is essential, it's equally important to remain flexible in how you achieve them. The Stoics understood that life is unpredictable and that rigidity often leads to frustration. 
They taught the importance of resilience and adaptability, encouraging you to adjust your plans when necessary without losing sight of your larger purpose. This balance between focus and flexibility allows you to stay grounded in your values while remaining open to the unexpected twists and turns of life. Another key aspect of Stoic goal-setting is the idea of incremental progress. The Stoics believed in the power of small, consistent actions. Rather than being overwhelmed by the enormity of a goal, they encouraged breaking it down into manageable steps. This approach fosters a sense of accomplishment and keeps you motivated, as each small step brings you closer to your larger purpose. It also teaches patience as you come to understand that meaningful progress takes time. The Stoics valued persistence and saw the pursuit of long-term goals as a way to cultivate discipline and resilience. Purposeful living through Stoic goal-setting also nurtures a sense of responsibility. The Stoics believed that we are not just responsible for ourselves, but for how our actions impact others and the world around us. When your goals are rooted in purpose, they often extend beyond personal success to include a sense of service or contribution. Whether it's through acts of kindness, leadership or social impact, living with purpose encourages you to consider how your actions align with the greater good. This sense of responsibility deepens your connection to others and to the world, making your life more meaningful and fulfilling. Living with purpose also enhances your ability to stay present. The Stoics placed great emphasis on living in the present moment, understanding that the past is beyond our control and the future is uncertain. When your goals are aligned with your purpose, they serve as anchors that keep you grounded in the present. You focus on what you can do today, in this moment, to move closer to your purpose. This mindfulness not only enhances your productivity, but it also brings a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment as you are no longer distracted by regrets or anxieties about the future. Stoic goal-setting also teaches the value of self-reflection. The Stoics were strong advocates of daily reflection, using it as a tool to assess progress and align their actions with their goals. By regularly reflecting on your goals and your progress, you ensure that you are staying true to your purpose. This practice of reflection helps you course correct when needed and keeps you accountable to yourself. It also fosters a sense of gratitude as you become more aware of the progress you've made and the lessons you've learned along the way. A key component of living with purpose is the ability to prioritize. Life is full of competing demands and it's easy to get pulled in multiple directions. Stoic philosophy encourages you to prioritize your goals based on what truly matters. This means being selective about where you invest your time, energy and resources. By focusing on what aligns with your purpose, you avoid the distractions and temptations that can derail your progress. This prioritization creates a sense of clarity and focus, helping you to stay on track and make meaningful progress toward your goals. In addition to prioritization, Stoic goal-setting emphasizes the importance of perseverance. The Stoics understood that the path to purpose is rarely smooth. There will be setbacks, challenges and moments of doubt. But Stoic wisdom teaches that true success lies not in avoiding difficulty, but in persisting through it. Perseverance is a cornerstone of living with purpose. When your goals are aligned with your deepest values, you are more likely to stay committed, even in the face of adversity. This perseverance builds character, strengthens your resolve, and ultimately leads to a life of greater fulfillment. Living with purpose also fosters a sense of integrity. The Stoics believed that our actions should align with our principles and goal-setting is a way to ensure that we live with integrity. When your goals are based on your values, you create a life that is consistent with who you truly are. This alignment between your actions and your beliefs 
fosters a deep sense of inner peace and satisfaction as you know that you are living authentically. It also strengthens your relationships as others see that you are a person of integrity, someone who acts with purpose and conviction. Another benefit of living with purpose through stoic goal setting is that it enhances your resilience. When your goals are rooted in something meaningful, you are better equipped to handle setbacks and failures. The Stoics believed that adversity is a natural part of life and that how we respond to it defines our character. When your goals are aligned with your purpose, you view challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles to success. This resilience allows you to bounce back from difficulties and continue moving forward with confidence and determination. Purpose-driven goals also encourage self-mastery. The Stoics believed that the greatest victory is the mastery of oneself. By setting goals that challenge you to grow, both personally and intellectually, you develop the discipline and focus needed to achieve self-mastery. This mastery is not about controlling external circumstances, but about controlling your reactions, emotions and behaviours. It's about cultivating the virtues of wisdom, courage and temperance and using these virtues to guide your actions. Through this process of self-mastery, you become a more resilient, focused and purposeful individual. In living with purpose, you also cultivate a sense of fulfillment that transcends material success. The Stoics taught that true happiness comes not from external achievements, but from living a life of virtue and meaning. When your goals are aligned with your purpose, you find fulfillment in the pursuit itself, rather than in the outcome. This fulfillment brings a sense of peace and contentment as you know that you are living in alignment with your values and contributing to something greater than yourself. Finally, living with purpose through Stoic goal-setting fosters a sense of legacy. The Stoics believed that our actions have a lasting impact, not just on ourselves, but on the world around us. By setting goals that reflect your values and purpose, you create a legacy that extends beyond your own life whether it's through the relationships you build, the work you do, or the contributions you make to your community, living with purpose ensures that your life has a lasting, positive impact. This sense of legacy gives meaning to your efforts and inspires you to continue striving toward your goals, knowing that your actions matter. Living with purpose through stoic goal setting is a transformative process that brings clarity, resilience and fulfillment to your life. It requires reflection, self-awareness and the courage to pursue what truly matters. By setting goals that align with your values, focusing on what is within your control and embracing the journey, you create a life that is both meaningful and impactful. Stoic wisdom teaches that true happiness is found in living with intention and purpose, and by integrating this philosophy into your goal-setting process, you cultivate a life of greater depth, fulfillment and peace. As we've journeyed through these simple habits inspired by Stoic wisdom, it becomes clear that living a longer, happier life isn't about grand gestures or complex philosophies. It's about embracing simplicity gratitude, discipline and purpose in every aspect of our lives. Each habit, whether it's mindful eating, fostering meaningful relationships or living with intention, serves as a guide to a more balanced and fulfilled existence. By incorporating these stoic principles, you're not only shaping a life of resilience and joy, but also cultivating the wisdom needed to navigate the challenges that life inevitably presents. The power to live a longer, happier life is in your hands. It starts with small, daily actions. Take these lessons to heart and watch as they transform your mindset and your experience of the world. Now, it's your turn. What habit resonated with you the most? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts or what you're planning to incorporate into your life. Let's build a community of wisdom together. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more insights 
and practical guides to help you live a more fulfilled and purposeful life. Let's continue this journey toward growth, one habit at a time.